All right, Shalom, Brother Ra coming to you with another video. Before I move forward, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, the great millstone, for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible and who rule well. All right, and the double Shalom taught Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. Now, the title of this video is called, In Just a Matter of Time, All Hell Will Break Loose. Okay? And all this is going to happen in this lifetime. Come soon, man. And um, I'm downtown pre-camp, right? Right before camp starts and you're seeing everybody just enjoying their weekend, all right? Or, or at least putting on the front as if they are going to their favorite restaurant, you know, enjoying their time off from work. You know, you got some people going on dates, you know. You know, in marriage, giving in a marriage, okay? But they're in the comfort, not realizing it comes soon, that all hell is going to break loose, man. And we're going to bring all this out through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shemiah was shy. So uh, the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 4, all right, it reads, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning. All right, the Holy Bible was uh, inspired through the power and spirit of Yahweh Shemiah was shy, all right, as, as what? Uh, um, a guideline. For how the Israelites should live Because look the word is only written Was only given to the children of Israel So a guideline on how to conduct yourself um, The history Our history of our forefathers You know And um, also prophecy Prophecy means to tell you before So we're supposed to take heed to the warning That's written in the scriptures Okay It says for our learning And we're supposed to take heed to that man It says that we through patience And comfort of the scriptures Might have hope and so as we are, you know, as the word patient goes back to suffering, we're suffering under uh, oppression, being ruled over by our enemies. We still are what to wait on our Lord and Savior to redeem us. Lord willing, we're part of the elect. OK, but um, the point of the reason why I brought the scripture out was to what to the fact that the Lord put the Holy Scriptures in place for us to take heed to it. All right. To the word. OK, now, Ezekiel, chapter seven, verse twenty five, destruction cometh. See, this is one of the things that we're supposed to take heed to that's in the Bible. One of the many things, all right, that what? Ezekiel 7 and 25, that destruction is coming. It said, destruction cometh, all right, and they shall seek peace, you know, and there shall be none. So majority of these people are going to be seeking for peace, all right? They don't, they're not going to want the smoke, man, which, you know, the smoke is coming from Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, all this, the destruction and death. You know, the uh, famine, the martial law, all right, the race riots, you know, uh, World War Three. People are going to be seeking for more peace, of, uh, a new presidential leader or someone to take, you know, America out of the situation. But, you know, it's not going to happen, man. OK, because the scriptures say what? Ezekiel 7 and 25. Destruction cometh and they shall seek peace and there shall be none. So it's not going to be any peace, man. OK, as Esau, these Edomites are, um, you know, the end of their rulership is is right around the corner. OK, so first Thessalonians chapter five, verse three, for when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. And you got these G7 meetings and, you know, you got different articles talking about how uh, President Trump. You know, want to sit down at the table with uh, Vladimir Putin and these other leaders from these other nations, you know. So it seems as if peace is coming. But in reality, from, you know, what the scriptures say and what, what we've been measuring through the times, you know, what's going on in the news, destruction is coming. Peace ain't coming, man. And it's going to happen like a woman, as the scriptures say, as travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape. You know, when a woman is bringing forth a child. You know, uh, after being pregnant for, you know, nine months, you know, and, and you know, her, her, she's getting contractions and she's about to have that child. OK, she can't escape that child from being born, man. OK, just like uh, America, man, and, and Esau's rulership, man, is going down right before our eyes, man. OK, now I mentioned something through the spirit that I want to bring out. St. Matthew, chapter 30, uh, 24, verse 36. OK. It says, 
But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my father only. So only Yahweh, who our people ignorantly call God, he's the only one that knows the day and hour that he's going to bring forth death and destruction and send forth Yahweh Shai, the only begotten son, to redeem the elect. You know? So knowing that, then we're supposed to really take, be taking heed to what is written before time for our learning. You know? Because it's a matter of time before all hell breaks loose. Verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, and, you know, many people know about the story of Noah. Noah was preaching and preaching and preaching and preaching for over 120 years, man. Warning the people to get right, to follow the ways of righteousness. If you want to be saved from the flood. But people didn't take heed, man. So uh, we in these times today, man, if you even look around. You know, downtown, the chief place of concourse, and you in whatever city you're in, you see people are just as is, as in the days of Noah, man. Okay, let's see what they were doing though. All right, it says verse 37. At, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of son of the son of man be. Okay, and that's very near. For verse 38. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. See, these people were. All, all they're worried about was what restaurant they're going to visit, you know, and they already planned it out for the week. You know, let's check out Chicken and Beasley's or, or Cooper's Barbecue, you know, OK, and drinking all about hanging out. You know, football season's back in college football, NFL. So these people, they, they, they're gathering together to go to the bar and watch their favorite team play. All right. They're not thinking about uh, the times that we're in, which is nothing wrong. Um, with, with, with watching sports But it's a time and place for everything right Okay It says marrying and giving in marriage Okay you're seeing different weddings go on You know and they celebrate downtown Alright and then you also uh, Have people out here you know having sex man You know They ain't discerning the times we in man Until the day that Noah entered into the ark See no one was taking heed To Noah when he was out there on the streets You know building the ark And telling the people to get right you know, just like the men of the Lord, men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways in season, out of season, a true servant of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy is going to be out there consistently. And so people rather go to the bar or, or eat or, you know, get married or given into marriage, you know, marrying or giving into marriage instead of out there, you know, listening to the men bring out this truth. All right. Because the scripture say wisdom crieth out. She uttered her voice in the streets. OK, so again, uh, St. Matthew 24 and 39. Uh, sorry, thirty-eight. For as in the days that Noah, Slaki, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And there's nothing new under the sun. Majority of our people are procrastinators, man, and so they gonna try to get right when it's too late, man. Okay. Verse thirty-nine. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. See. So just like, you know, in the days of Noah, hey, it's going to be similar to when the Son of Man comes. Lord Yahweh shot. Okay. Now, the scripture says, let me see. Um, bear with me here. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 7, verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life. All right, the, 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 the life, the segment of time, the appointed time that we're in, many people are going to perish. Many people are going to be put to death by way of famine, either martial law, race riots, either diseases. You know, uh, people are dying heavy by diseases, man. OK, the uh, hurricanes that came through and swept through the Bahamas. Thousands have died or been unaccounted for, which are most likely dead. OK, but as the scriptures say, though, second edge of seven and 20, for there be many that perish in this life. Because they despise the law of Yahweh that is set before them. All right. And then the word despise means to hate. So majority of our people, they hate this word. How do we know? Because the action speaks forth, man. They mock and scoff. They ignore us. They roll their eyes. That's the new thing now, man. Roll their eyes and, and, and shake their heads, man, as if we're doing a bad thing. When we're, we're, we're showing love to our people by bringing out this word, man. Telling them how they can receive salvation. All right, but they hate the they hate the law of Yahweh. All right, that is set before them, and so what? Majority of them are gonna be put to death, man. 
All right, majority of our people are going to be put to death, the ones that, that hate this law, that hate Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay, uh, I'm going to bring out a few more precepts and I'm going to close out. All right, but the point of the lesson is all hell is about to break loose. Okay, come soon, and majority of our people going to get caught up in it, man. They're going to get caught up in it because they didn't want to take heed to the word that was written the fourth time for our learning. Okay, uh, the book of um, Sirach, chapter... Five verse seven, it reads, "Make no tarry and turn to the Lord, and put not off from day to day, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth." And see, that's why we're supposed to be on our our, our p's and q's, because we we don't know when the heavenly Father is going to send the only begotten Son, you know, to further bring forth more destruction. And to redeem the elect. We don't want to get rejected from receiving salvation. Because what comes after that? If you're rejected, then a missile is coming right behind it, man. Right behind it. All right? To lay this land desolate, as the scriptures say. So you don't want to tarry with your how about shy with this word, man. It says, for suddenly, meaning when you least expect it, okay? Shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Okay, and now that lets you know what the Lord the Lord is bringing forth the death and destruction. Wrath meaning extreme anger. Okay, it says, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. Okay, as in the days of Noah. People are so secured in their own mind, okay, which your mind is deceiving you. Because really, this is not security. You can lose your job, okay, you can lose all the money in your bank account. You can catch a disease and drop dead. You know, this ain't security. This ain't life, you know, but to these people, it is all right. But it's going to be shown that it's false security and in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. And vengeance means payback, man. The Lord is bringing payback. He's bringing wrath. OK, and I'm going to close out on this scripture right here. OK, uh, let's see. St. Peter. Okay, the book of 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 10, it says, but, in the, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, okay, because when all hell break loose, you know, leading up to our Lord and Savior's arrival, but before he, uh, Yahweh Shai arrives, you know, it's going to be crazy. The dollar's going to cra crash all of a sudden, you know, it's going to be, a, um, it's gonna be a, like a, a major fl false flag. You know, just and, and people are just gonna be losing their minds, man. You know, and then they're gonna issue and make it mandatory uh, for the masses. Everyone on the face of the earth will be tempted with the RFID chip, and which the elect will not take. Okay, but when our Lord and Savior comes, He's coming as a thief in the night. Okay, and the thief what catches you off guard. Okay, it says, "In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise," and the heavens represents America, uh, uh, Esau's kingdom, man. OK, and it's going to pass away with a great noise by those um, those uh, uh, ICBM uh, missiles, man. OK, that's going to uh, lay this land desolate, you know, great noise is going to be heard, you know, from the destruction of America, man, from those ICBM missiles. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. OK, elements are basically everything you see around you. All right. Everything on a periodic uh, chart, the table. Okay, it exists, and that all is going to be destroyed, man, here in America. Everything's going to be burnt up, man, melted. You know, it says, um, the earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay, verse 11. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. Okay, but hey, look, knowing the times, though, you got to know the times. You got to know the times we're in. You got to be measuring the times diligently. And you got to take heed to this word, okay? Everything written for time was written for our learning. So seeing, as verse 11 says, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, seeing that America is going to be laid desolate, okay, and going to be non-existent, this Esau's rulership will be what? Put down, okay? What manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? So you should be conducting yourself by seeking the Lord, First and foremost, wholeheartedly, okay, being diligent in this truth, okay, and, and, and seeking the, the righteous way, man, okay, taking heed to this word, man, okay, so that way you don't get caught in the hellfire, man, the, the, the destruction that's getting ready to be brought here, man, from those ICBM missiles, man, 
from Lord Yahweh Shai shooting this place down with laser beams, man. Okay. Um, what else it says? Uh, let me read that again. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And hey, look, these people are going to melt too, man. The ones who are not beamed up going to be uh, left for dead, man, for uh, for for a fire to be burned in the fire, man. These heathens, as well as these two thirds uh, of our people. All right. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, man. But the point of the lesson is come soon, man. All hell is about to break loose, man. In just a matter of time. And uh, you want to get this word before before it's too late. OK, so with that being said, before I close out, I want to give all praises, honor and glory to the heavenly father and his only begotten son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles, the elders, of great millstone for teaching us 100 percent truth according to the Bible and who rule well. And a double shalom taught Akim out there pushing the truth and truth and sincerity, regardless of whom here or forbears. Shalom.